Part of it's just something just very primal. That, that I think there's I think there's something very vestigial about combat. Everybody sees the movies and they're like, oh, I wish I could do that. I wish I could get into a big old fight like that. You could just hear the cheers and it was like childhood dream all just coming true. <laughs> fight! Two, two and a half years ago when we met in this guy's backyard and we would knock our, our expensive glow sticks together. People were talking and saying, wouldn't it be cool if one day we could get this to be an actual sport? It's good exercise, it's really great stress relief, um, and just absolutely amazing community to be involved in. Oh! I've got a couple of sabers that just light up, and there's just something missing. And you hear the clash, and you see the light it, it, when, it, when it flashes, when the, when the blades hit. Um, it just it just draws you and it just it just feeds that emotion during the fight. Part of the, part of the whole Star Wars mythos is the saber, the, the saber, the saber and the crystal calling to you, and making that saber your own, customizing it to, to what you want it to be to have it speak to you. Um, that is that's a big part of that, and Shami makes that happen. I mean, my name is Shamim Moshef Zadeh. I um, work on custom sabers. I've always been a huge fan of Star Wars. I love the movies, I love the TV shows, I love the books. Um, and the lightsaber is really emblematic of uh, that world. My first foray into that was converting the old uh, Force Effects lightsabers. And then from there, once I had just done the LED, I had left the soundboard and the speaker and the battery, everything else, uh, 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 I had left that all alone. I just on the LED. And once I saw that I could do the LED, I thought, well, what if I could also replace the sound? What if I could also improve the battery? What if I could also improve the speaker? And that led me uh, further and further into the world of customizing these sabers. But part of the fun, for me at least, is getting a new custom saber in the mail, maybe one I haven't worked on before, and then trying to figure out how can I adapt my basic soundboard battery speaker setup into this new custom saber. Some of the soundboards uh, that we install in our custom sabers support RGB LEDs, meaning that you can switch between up to 10 different blade colors at once. I also work in Audacity and GarageBand to actually manufacture new and unique sound effects. And um, so this can be done completely tailored to the customer's needs. So in addition to the electronics, I also work on the exterior of the hilt. I do weathering, I do powder coating, which is sort of an advanced paint uh, process. I do chrome plating. The electronics can be done within about two days. And then the weathering, depending on how weathered you want it to be, it can take an additional three, four days to get done. So about a week or so for one of the, the, the very uh, the, the heavily customized one. It's, it's a lot of fun, and the end result of everything that I do, I get to look at it, I turn it on, I do a video of it, and then I see the, the customer's, uh, oh my god moment. They are so happy, and so I, a lot of their happiness reflects back to me, and I, that's, that's the most rewarding part. It's intoxicating. Um, my first meetup, when he brought this out to me, and you know, the, it's ready, let me show you how to use it, it was, smiling ear to ear I couldn't contain myself <laughs> and the first time because my stance I always start like this and I turned it on and that first time seeing that bright hot pink in the corner of my eye and hearing the boom oh yes and I absolutely just went after my opponent <laughs> the saber has to call to you it has to, you have to you have to you have to, you have to love that saber you have to feel for it Fighters ready. Above the love of Star Wars, but the love of fighting. That's what just draws me into TSL, is the feeling of family. And, and Shamim is, is such a huge backbone of that. Yeah, take a look at it. It's amazing. He put a Crystal Focus 8 in there. Yeah. Absolutely incredible. Hey, it's just fun.